Hi friends, hope you're all doing well. I recently reached 5,000 subscribers on YouTube, so I just wanted to say thank you to each and every one of you who have watched my videos, who have liked them, and who have commented on them. 5,000 is definitely a big deal, and I couldn't do it without all of your support, and your support is what keeps me going. I hope that my videos have helped each and every one of you in some way, whether that's giving you ideas on what to do in New York City, or giving you ideas on travel planning, or just destination ideas, or even just giving you a sense of relief for that brief moment that you're watching my videos. Traveling is obviously my biggest passion in life, and my biggest goal on YouTube is to show people that you can still travel even if you work a full-time job, just like me. I'm definitely not ready to forgo security in exchange for setting out and traveling the world just yet. And I know that most people aren't either, but the world is so big and beautiful and there are so many things that we can learn from different cultures. I love exploring and I love going on trips and sharing my experiences with you guys. So thank you all from the bottom of my heart for just being there and supporting me and watching my videos. So to celebrate my 5,000 subscribers on YouTube, I thought that it'd be a fun idea to share five random facts about myself. I feel like I don't share too much about myself personally on my channel, or maybe I do to some people. I don't know, I tend to be an overshare, but I am working on setting my boundaries in life. So some random facts about me. Number one, I am fluent in Mandarin and I can also read and write it. So I speak Mandarin to both of my parents. They are immigrants from Taiwan and I pretty much have adopted the language since I was young. I would say it's as much as my mother language as English is to me. So I spoke it growing up. I still speak it to this day. I grew up a lot in Taiwan going there during the summers. So speaking to all my relatives, I also had to speak in Mandarin in order to communicate. I also went to Chinese school very briefly when I was young and absolutely hated it. I'm sure like most of you ABCs out there, uh, Sunday Chinese school was never the most ideal way to spend your weekend. So I did that and then in high school I also took Chinese for three years. That kind of strengthened my reading and writing. and. I just always kind of had a knack for it. Um, even to this day, I text my mom in Chinese and I can write most words, but I feel like I need to practice more if I want to get better. So I would be able to write most words and I can definitely read Chinese, both simplified and traditional. I had to learn simplified Chinese when I was studying abroad in Shanghai and I picked that up pretty quickly within a few weeks because it is similar to traditional Chinese. I have thought about possibly doing a Mandarin speaking video on my channel. So if you guys would like to see that, let me know. Um, that would kind of be fun. Okay, random fact number two, I am obsessed with fruit and all kinds of fruit. Like I call myself the fruit queen. There is not a single fruit that I don't like. You can name every single one. And yes, I love durian. Um, I love jackfruit. I love any kind of fruit. It's kind of like something that I think my mom instilled in me, um, also growing up in, in Asia, a lot being there and just eating the fruit there. Um, a lot of it's like really, really juicy, sweet, tropical fruit. My mom would used to, we would used to eat fruit basically as dessert. So even till this day, whenever I travel to different countries, I always need to go to like some kind of a fruit stand or even like a grocery store just to pick up some fruit because to me, I kind of just need that. Like that for me cures my sweet tooth more than any dessert could. It's kind of just like a way to end my meal and it's very refreshing to me. My favorite fruits, by the way, are watermelon, mango, lychee, cherries. I love durian, dragon fruit, like pineapple. I could, I could go on and on, um, wax apple. I just love all kinds of fruit and fruit is really good for you so eat more fruit my third random fact is that I have been a dog sitter on and off since college so I got my dog Pika who's my English Bulldog when I was in college during my junior year and I got him as a puppy and I thought that in order to get him more socialized with other dogs I would sign up for some part-time dog sitting also as an additional way to earn some money so I did that and I actually had a decent amount of clients after college I stopped doing it I was posting 
uh, my profile on this website called Rover, which um, if you're a pet owner, you may be very familiar with. But I would have my profile on and off, um, just depending on where I was in life. Since moving to New York City two years ago, I started again, but because my apartment in Manhattan, you guys, is so small and it's crowded and Pika's a handful and I just don't want to do all this cleaning on top of working and traveling, I have recently stopped dog sitting on the platform and just accepting my regular clients that I love. So sometimes on my channel you might see Chester who's a mini golden and then Finch who's a golden doodle. Um, these are some of the clients that always come back to me in New York City and I love those babies. So. Yeah, it's a good way for me to earn extra income still, but also I just love dogs. They are my spare animal. I couldn't imagine a life without having a dog. I used to be the type of kid that would literally beg my parents for a dog and just go and touch any stray dog I saw. And my parents would get so mad at me, like my mom would literally hit me for touching stray dogs because she thought they were so dirty and I just didn't care. I wanted a dog so badly, so. I also just love dogs, which makes dog sitting so much easier for me. Okay, random fact number four, I once hiked the Trans Catalina Trail. So if you don't know, Catalina Island is an island off of Southern California. I don't know why it's like, I'm like losing my memory as to where it is because I live in New York now. Um, but the whole trail is 34 or 38 miles, I believe. And I did this entire trail myself um, before COVID. It was 2019, I believe. I have no idea why I decided to do this myself. I am the type of person that is scared of doing a lot of things, but I push myself to do it because I want to take risks, even if I might not be physically well to do that. So don't do this, kids. But um, I, I love hiking and I, have camped before but going on that trail I just thought to myself I want to do something challenging um, I feel like it would make a really good trip to document funny enough I did vlog the entire thing but I never actually edited it and made it into a video so I might put some pictures and clips up here if I still have them it was my first time even setting up a tent and I actually reserved like three campsites I believe set up a tent myself every day I hiked about eight to ten miles and this was like in the heat and I got a really really cheap backpack to hike in so my shoulders were like bleeding and raw just from the sun hitting it and it being like really cheap so it had no cushion I was hungry I was I got lost several times which added to my mileage every day I remember reaching like day two end of day two and it was a campsite with Wi-Fi finally and I broke down on the side of the trail called my boyfriend crying was like I can't believe I'm doing this but I did it all 38 miles there was actually a section that I believe I took the shortcut for that was a little bit more flat because the trail is pretty hilly and it was definitely not easy I would say definitely for the intermediate hiker I believe that with every challenge and possibly failure in this case um, there are some lessons learned and my lessons are to never buy cheap backpacking gear to go hiking with someone so that I don't get lost preferably someone with more geographical um, instinct than me because I have none and just to honestly still keep pushing myself because there are other things that I've done in life um, that I had to kind of go out of my comfort zone to do such as scuba diving and I'm so grateful for all of these experiences that I've gone through but yeah probably not going to do that again if you do have any questions about that hike though let me know leave it in the comments and random fact number five is I am still scared of plane turbulence even though I fly so much. Might be kind of hard to believe, but I am still nervous. I still get nervous, my palms still get sweaty, I still have to grip onto my boyfriend's arm every time there is plane turbulence because my thoughts just go wild about all these things that could potentially happen with the plane, with us, just what if we get stranded, just all of these things and it's Honestly, I would say one of my worst fears is for something to happen to my life on a plane just because 
It feels like you're not in control when you're on a plane. Your destiny is in, in the hands of the pilot and it just sounds like a very scary thing. So every time there's turbulence, I still get nervous. And I definitely prefer to take other modes of transportation if possible, such as trains or cars. And it doesn't mean I'm gonna stop flying because even though I'm scared of turbulence, my desire to travel still outweighs that fear. I found that one way that kind of eases my nervousness during turbulence is having something in my ears, like listening to a podcast or listening to music. It kind of distracts me from what's going on. But if you are scared of flying, just take a deep breath and find something to distract yourself with, such as music or a podcast or something that you have to really focus on so that it kind of takes your attention away from the turbulence. And that's it. Those are the five random facts about me. Thank you again all so much for your support. It means so much to me and I can't wait to keep making videos for you guys. I have a few trips coming up as usual. I'm always planning trips and I will document all of those for you guys. If you have any video ideas for me, leave them down in the comments below and I am happy to film them. I hope you all have a great day. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.